Bonjour, guten Tag. What's up, bruv? <laughs> Oh my days, how good was that? My first try. <laughs> Guys, what a beautiful day where there's no time to waste. Glad to see you all back. Guys, it's been a while. And for me, because I'm just uploading once or twice per week, it's a bit unusual and I feel a bit weird because you guys are used to see me every single day in the 365 Challenge 2 Pro Contract in the All In Challenge and to all these things that I've done here on YouTube. And YouTube actually made me to the person that I am now. Because now I actually have a kind of influence into people's life and people are, are watching me to see what I do, what I eat, how I prepare for matches and what I do in the gym and stuff like this. So I really appreciate that. And by the way, if you haven't already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button because we are nearly 27,000 subscribers strong. Team Brandao, I know you can do it. So just pause that video right now and just, just click that subscribe button because 55% who are watching are not subscribed. So just subscribe now and just hit that like button. I would really appreciate that. But yeah, I really try my best to really show you guys what I do. But unfortunately, every single time, I have to remind myself that I love doing YouTube videos. I love inspiring people. But first and foremost, I am a professional football player. And I need to focus on my football as well, even though I love doing videos. But it's simply not possible to do videos like every day because I get more and more messages on my Instagram, follow me there, at Brandao4, saying, why are you not uploading every day anymore? And this and that, because I can't, because I probably think you guys don't wanna see me waking up, going to training, and then come back, cook something, and then chill, relax, and, and that's it. Like, 
every day it's the same, every single day. But anyway, today's match against Gloria Buzal, another important match. As you guys know, we are fighting for relegation against relegation. Obviously, we don't want to be relegated to the third division. So we have to get as many points as possible. And each game from now is so important. You guys don't know. So there's this pressure. Like people might ask me, how do you deal with pressure? Bruh, I just trust in God and I just let God do his thing because he knows what he's doing. So that's how I deal with pressure. But we have pressure. We have to get as many points as possible. And this match today was really, really important as well. And it was a long travel, but let me guys take you to our travel. So, here we go. Here we go. Welcome to the commentary and we played against Gloria Buzau, a team that is in the middle of the table and for us it was just so important as any other upcoming match will be so important because we are fighting against relegation. So two seconds played long ball from their center back and I clear it out and it's just like five seconds played so I could play it to the goalkeeper but I just clear it out and then receive a long ball this time I stay a bit composed but try to give a pass to my striker but I overheat it a bit and then we gain possession and he plays it back to me and I play to our center mid 
is a bit under pressure and then I get under pressure and I clear it out. And in this sort of situations, I prefer to clear it out instead of trying to play and then lose the ball. Yeah, here, receive the ball again, play to our center mid and then get a bit pressured by the striker, but I play it back to the goalkeeper. And then here again, receive the ball, and then I see a striker come in, and I don't know what I'm doing. I see our left midfielder, but I need to stay more composed and just play it calm to my other center back here. I defend well, but I just need to learn really to stay a bit more composed when the striker is pressing me. Yeah, I play it back. Like that will make such a big difference. But sometimes as well, it depends of your teammates here. I win the header. Like it depends of your teammates because sometimes I feel like, like our midfielders they don't really want to have the ball. So sometimes I don't really have options. But yeah, I just need to stay a bit more composed when I get pressed by their strikers. I need to find quicker solutions they gain possession and as you will see on the right side their striker gets on the ball because they play a ball over my head and in this case we just need to stay tighter like our left defender needs to stay tighter because if they would have scored in this sort of situation it would be just so unlucky and then there's a 50 50 in midfield we lose the duo but I clear it out and then 34 minutes played they play a ball over my head which you can't see right now because sometimes the cameraman didn't like or wasn't quick enough but here you can see a ball gets over my head and as I said in the previous match communication between center back and goalkeeper is so important a ball is played over my but I'm still in control and I didn't see the goalkeeper come in but if he just say something like listen Leo like problem solved but because of that they were leading one nil we were so good in the game and then because of those simple mistakes we actually were one nil down it's literally a race between me and the striker and then all of a sudden our goalkeeper comes out and some might say I should be able to see my goalkeeper but I actually haven't because in the sort of milliseconds you focus on the ball and but yeah that's how it is. <laughs> And then they have a long throw in, and I win my header. And then here, I receive the ball from the goalkeeper, and I dribble into the free space, but I haven't really won anything. And I play it to our left back instead of bringing the ball forward. Like, but this is what I mean sometimes. Like, I receive the ball, and as you guys see, our two center mids they are actually running away. And because our center mid is literally in the same line as the striker, I don't really see him. But if he just would move a little bit to the right to actually want to get the ball, I could have find him. But I definitely need as well to improve and just to improve my awareness of where free players are and, and bring the ball forward. But that was it, the first half. So not a lot actions. We were 1-0 down and we had nothing to lose. And we came out here, yeah, win the ball. We came out for the second half to actually try to win the game. And then here, long ball, I clear it out. And in this situation, I can't have a touch. Like, it's just too risky. He receives the ball again, get pressed, play it back to our left back. And then receive the ball. Here I should jockey a bit back to get a bit more space. 
here, clear it out. And then here, I done well, but then, I caramba, like, this can't happen. This simply can't happen. This is lack of concentration. But in those sort of situations, like, they can score a second goal. Like, I need to concentrate, like, 90 minutes. This simply can't happen. And then a long goal kick from the goalkeeper. Then obviously me with my height, like, in the air, 99% I win my my duels and then receive the ball and then I switch the side to our center back and then receive the ball here again and this time I try to play the ball forward but I lose the ball and those sort of passes between the line passes I just need to work on that but I will and then here I try to bring it down but unfortunately it goes out to a corner but as you will see, because of that, because of that corner, we actually were able to get space and to be on a counter attack. And this is how our equalizer happened. Striker gets the ball around midfield and boom, what a goal. Again, camera guy is not quick enough but so important, so important. And as you will see, that was actually a nice goal. And then as you see, 93rd minutes played because our equalizer was in the 80th minute. I had it out. So it's literally last minutes in this game. And then our left back gets fouled. So it's literally the last few seconds of the game. And there's a free kick. I win it and then this could be the winning goal, but unfortunately he didn't score it and the match ended in a draw 1-1. I simply love those analysis to re-watch my own game, how I played, because that's the best way to improve. And because I'm just so hungry for success, I am, I am that type of person I want to improve every single time. And obviously, there are so, so many people who would love to be in my position, who would love to play second division in Romania. So that's why every day when I wake up, I am so grateful and thankful that I'm actually here, that I have the opportunity. But if I want to improve, if I want to actually play higher, I just simply need to improve. I need to be more composed when I have the ball, even when I get pressed by the striker, I just need to stay calm, mate. Like sometimes I just watch the game and in some actions, I'm just thinking, bruv, what are you doing? And obviously when you are playing, obviously for people who are just watching a game, it's so easy to say, oh, why did you not do this? Why did you not do that? But for all the footballers out there, they know how it's like to actually be on the pitch because when you play, you simply have just milliseconds to decide what to do. Do you give a pass? Do you give a long pass? Do you take a touch? Like, and that's the difference between good players and outstanding players. Because outstanding players, they are able to make decisions quick in like seconds. So I need to definitely improve my decision making and awareness. Mate, we're here to work and... As I always say, I'm not finished yet. And there's so much room for improvements, but as long as you work hard, as long as I keep working hard, like it's gonna come. But at least we got a point, like when you see the chance in the last minutes to actually score the winning goal, it's like, ah, oh, but each match as it comes and we go again. 
we go again. Hopefully, next match is going to be against, I think, another team that is quite close to us in the table. So that's why we just have to win. We have to win. But thanks again for all the support, Team Brandao. If you guys have anything to tell me, like just comment section or Instagram DM at Brandao4 and we go from there. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Smash that like button, guys. And keep in mind when you believe, everything is mm, possible. So team run now, mm. I'll see you next time. Get and again and again and again and again and again I play